Here in Nigeria, the embattled former national chairman of the country's ruling party, the All Progressives Congress, has cleared the air on his position on the crisis bedeviling the party. While addressing journalists on Saturday, Adams Oshomale says he remains loyal to the party and President Muhammad Buhari and that he accepts the decision of the party uh, of the part to stand down. Oshomale had led the NWC before his recent suspension. Of course, we have now been dissolved and I have accepted that dissolution in good faith. I am not going into the issue of legality or illegality. The bottom line is the president who invited me to lead the party and who gave me all the support and who mobilized all the support across the country for my emergence as chairman also presided over the meeting where the NWC has now been dissolved. And because I have always assured the president of my loyalty, and you know it's easy for people to speak to loyalty where the going is good. But loyalty is brought to the test when the going gets really, really tough. So as a demonstration of that loyalty to Mr. President, loyalty to our party, and loyalty to the Nigerian nation, I have decided to accept the decision in good faith and to maintain my loyalty, my respect, and my admiration for President Mohamed Buhari. And to discuss that development, I am joined now by a political analyst, Victor Ohai. Hello, Victor. Thank you very much for joining us. Now that Oshomale has accepted defeat, what do you think his next move is likely to be? Well, uh, you know, politicians would usually uh, keep their cards very close to their chest. So, um, Whereas he has declared his loyalty to the president, uh, we have had we have had cases like that before where people will tell you they're loyal, and then along the line things might change. I do not rule out um, another splinter party coming out of a breakaway faction coming out of APC. I do not rule out because of 2023 uh, that group that refused to go to court probably uh, metamorphosing to another political party. Well, it's still early yet because um, a lot of them may be afraid of uh, uh, punitive measures against them if they, if they move right now. So, but uh, I think getting close to 2023, by 2022, we'll begin to see what the cards that they have will begin to play out. All right, then. I still have a few questions I want to ask regarding uh, Oshomole, but let me quickly ask, does the president have the power uh, to dissolve the APC National Working Committee? No, that is illegal, outrightly. You can hear him there. He said he doesn't want to go into the legality or illegality. But I'm afraid it's a dangerous precedent because you cannot by, I mean, a properly constituted, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, executive committee in one fear to just, you know, uh, dissolve them, particularly when you have cases in court and all of that, you single-handedly or, if you like, with a group of people decide to just remove them. It's not done. And it's dangerous for our democracy because if you allow this to stand, if it goes unchallenged, then it then gives anybody who is the president at any point in time such overwhelming power to, to, to install his lackeys as uh, members of the National Working Committee that he can dissolve or appoint at will. You know, that is dangerous for us. I mean, the party is a party, the president is a president. Uh, whereas we've called the leader of the party, the actual leader of the party is the chairman of the party. In this case, you may say there is none, but at the time, Giardon was pronounced. I mean, they say they recognize Giardon, even though they, although they are in court, but I think that that process should have been allowed to take its course. And then in the end, we know where exactly who. Uh, but like they say, no one says no to a sovereign. You know, when the president intervened, everybody had to just uh, uh, concede or accede and say, okay, let it, let it be so. But that is dangerous for our democracy. Now, Victor, one of the things that uh, uh, rings a bell with me is the words that you used, unchallenged, you know, and, and the reason it does that is because it ties in with my next question, because I was going to ask you, why do you think Oshomale decided not to challenge uh, the dissolution? Um, the answer is, is clear. You know, Oshomale has a lot of 
package right now hanging around his neck. I can tell you that it was it was okay for him if he had not become the chairman of uh, APC with the uh, covering that goes with it. I'm sure that um, he probably will be in court right now because in those states, I mean, there are a lot of cases. I mean, a lot of allegations against him, and uh, he still needs that. Well, not immunity, but covering because. Uh, EFCC is part of the executive, and um, unless if if unless they are released, if 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 they are held back, uh, they might just close over certain things. I mean, you've heard since the beginning of this administration talks like selective um, persecution, uh, prosecution, or victimization. And then people will tell you, what does it matter? As long as some people are tried, if they are not tried now, when another administration comes. Uh, they can go ahead and try them. We see a lot of that. And you recall that the same Oshomo there has made it clear that if you move over to that party, uh, your sins will be forgiven. So I guess it's in his interest to remain with the party so that all sins will be forgiven in the meantime. And given all that is happening right now, is this a healthy development for our democracy? I do not think so. Absolutely not. Because what we're building here now is no longer democracy, but autocracy, where one person can just take a decision on behalf of a whole party. I mean, if people have voted for a, an executive and then you suddenly come with, with fear, whatever, he does not have that power. The president simply doesn't have that power. It's illegal. Unfortunately, they're not challenging him, but I told you for very obvious reasons, obviously, you know, but he, ha he absolutely does not have that power and it is dangerous. If he's allowed to stay, then he will test it a step, it will go a step further the next time and the next time and it then becomes a precedence and then it continues. That is not healthy for us at all. I feel that it should be challenged. I think it should be challenged and let the court decide whether he or those he met with have the right to dissolve uh, a committee, a, an executive committee rightfully voted and in place uh, whose tenure is not yet due. I mean, that, that is not healthy for our democracy at all. Now, Victor, you use some very strong words, illegal, dangerous, you know. How will the action of the president help restore unity back to APC? Well, you know what they say about the peace of a graveyard. You know, the reason, I always say this, you know, that uh, the reason we have laws, uh, the, the advent of uh, the legal, if you like, the legal professional law, was because men were by nature savages in the olden times, you know, and we, we, I mean, people settled matters with brute force, you know, at the time. Like, we were not too different from animals in the way we settled our, our issues. But men decided that, you know, uh, I mean, we live in a state of anomie generally. And to create some sort of uh, order in society, then people decided, men decided to, uh, you know, uh, agree to live by a set of laws. And that, you know, if these laws are invoked, Whatever is decided, they will stick to it. And that's why you have, even in our democracy today, you have the executive, you have the legislature, you have the judiciary. So uh, the proper thing is that if you disagree with whatever happens, uh, you go to court so that you don't take the law into your hands. And if you find a situation where people can no longer go to court, it's very dangerous because what you have then is a situation where people, you know, are quiet, they internalize their frustrations and when they eventually let go you know it's not going to be funny at all so um, i don't think it's healthy for us that um uh people have decided not to go to court uh it doesn't mean that they're happy it also does not mean that they have accepted what the president has done but they obviously just feel well there's not much that they can do right now but i can tell you that if they have an opportunity to inflict a blow they will do it because they are obviously not happy with what's going on right now now, will this have... Okay, you know what, we're out of time, actually. Thank you so much uh, for all of your uh, responses to my questions. Thank you.